Happy Sunday, heroes! Welcome to Boo Kids Online. We're so excited that you're joining with us today. It's going to be a special day. I'm feeling good. How are you feeling, Miss Sophie? I'm so good, Miss Blair. I'm so excited for another Sunday online. We have a really special story for you guys today. But first, Miss Blair, do you think that they remember who our Bible Hero of the Month is? I don't know, Miss Sophie. You think do they you, do? Do you heroes remember who our Bible hero is? His really special. His name starts with a J. Remember? J J. That's right. It's Jesus. He's the most special hero of all, and we get to tell you a really special story about him today. I'm so excited to learn more about Jesus today. It's been special learning about the most incredible hero of them all. But before we jump into our story, we have to learn a few words today before we learn about Jesus healing the blind man. Wow. Okay, heroes. So the word healing means to get better. Can you say to get better on three? One, two, three. To get better. That's right. And blind means to not be able to see. So if you close your eyes, that's right, heroes. If you close your eyes, that's what it would be like to not be able to see. And so now that you know what healing means and what blind means, I think, Miss Sophie, we can learn a little bit more about this story of Jesus healing the blind man. Miss Blair, where does our story start? It starts with Jesus walking with his disciples. Heroes, do you remember how many disciples Jesus has? That's right, he has 12 disciples. So let's get up on our feet and let's pretend like we're walking along with Jesus. So we're walking. We're walking. walking. And all of a sudden, we stop. (laughs) We stop because Jesus stopped. And when Jesus stopped, he saw a man who was blind. And remember, heroes, blind means he could not see. And the disciples asked Jesus, why is this man blind? Why can't he see, Jesus? And what did Jesus tell them, Miss Blair? He told them that there was no reason why he was born blind other than the fact that Jesus could heal him and use his story to touch so many other people's lives. Wow. And so what happened is Jesus stops, sees this blind man, and decides to heal him. And guess what, Miss Sophie? He does it in a crazy way because he's Jesus, and he's the miracle worker. He gets some mud, gets some really dirt off the ground, and turns it into mud by spitting on it. And he mixes it together. Can we mix it together? Let's mix the dirt together, make it mud. And he puts it on the blind man's eyes and then tells the blind man to go wash it off. That's right. And guess what, heroes? When the blind man goes to wash the mud off of his eyes, he could see, Miss Blair. He could see the trees and the flowers and people for the very first time. Jesus was able to heal his eyes and he was saved. That's amazing. I love that. And this month we're talking about how Jesus saves us. And so cool that Jesus healed this blind man and made him able to see. He could see his friends, he could see his family, he could see Jesus. And today, it's pretty special, heroes, that you know that you have a Jesus that lives in your heart that is a healer. Can you say Jesus saves us on three? Ready? One, two, three. Jesus Jesus saves us. That's right, heroes. Every day we get to live and walk with Jesus. And today I'm so excited because we learned about a pretty incredible story that I hope that you remember, heroes, as you go throughout this week, that Jesus is with you. And so heroes, let's put our hands together. Let's pray together today. Lord, we thank you that you are a healer. Jesus, thank you for healing us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for living in our hearts. We love you. And all the heroes said, Amen. Amen. That was so much fun, Miss Blair. 
Heroes, we hope you had a great time learning about Jesus healing the blind man. We love you. We hope you have the best week.